So we were streaming on Twitch the other day and we were checking out the emote glitch with the Save the World characters. Well, Magus decided to drop by the stream and he made a suggestion. And by the way, this is actually Magus' Twitch account. The following is quite hilarious. That one's gonna, that one's gonna work really well with Kyle, I feel, whenever they get it done. Pandangle. Eagle all the way. Yeah, we can try Eagle. I've never done this glitch before. I just know that it's existed, so this is all new to me. Oh god. Oh god. Chad, I think we know why we want the Eagle, huh? I think Magus is a... I think Magus is a little Eat, bit sleep, of a pervert. We can ignore it, chat. That's what I need. I think I know why Magus wanted me to do that so bad. <laughs> Alrighty boys, welcome back once again to another video. How are you guys doing? Guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different in today's video. We're actually going to be checking out the Walmart brand Silent Spectre in Fortnite Save the World, which is of course the blue rarity Silent Spectre, which doesn't even have a silencer to begin with. It's just called, well, the Spectre. And it has all legendary perks, meaning it is a Walmart brand of the once great weapon, the Silent Spectre. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a wacky video video in today's video and this of course is an homage to one of my older videos where I did a Walmart brand uh, grave digger essentially it is just a breacher which is of course a rare rarity and it has all legendary perks and just for a moment I do want to reflect on this video because I went back to that video of course because I was trying to see what the thumbnail looked like so I could try to replicate this one and I ended up going into the comment section and around that time six to seven months ago I was actually talking to you guys about quitting my job and you know after school I was gonna try to see if I could pursue YouTube for a while and you know see exactly what I could do with YouTube I really wanted to take a second and just read these comments for a moment um, there was a comment on this video that said please man don't leave your job YouTube is a very high risk please man and you know like I said at the time I was talking about quitting my grocery store job it was my only source of income and YouTube was starting to become a big thing for me around this time and I was truly thinking that I could make it into a full-time job if I tried of course I responded to the guy said I'm young I got all the time in the world to experiment and try it out I'll prove you wrong don't worry and you know I had a comment from terrorizing he said well if you're gonna start doing YouTube full-time when you grow big don't forget about me terrorizing I did not my friend and then there was a comment that said haha okay man you're effing up your life big time now I just wanted to take this time to thank you guys like truly thank you guys for all the support that you guys have given me across twitch across YouTube across Twitter Instagram you guys have made this a full-time job, this dream of mine a full-time job, and I make a very comfortable living doing what I like to do, and i just like to thank you guys for that. I truly believe, man, God really blessed me with all of you guys, with everybody that supports me, and I just cannot thank you guys enough for that. So I wanted to take this time because I haven't really thanked you guys here on YouTube in a while. You know, it's normally cookie cutter video, get straight to the point, but I just want to take a second Thank you guys so much for everything that you do. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the video and let's take a look at the Walmart brand Silent Spectre. So, let's go and show you guys what, ex what exactly I'm talking about. If we go on over to my armory and then my schematics, we can take a look at this absolute beauty of an alpha male weapon. And of course, it is the only blue that you see on your screen. Right here, it is the Spectre. This weapon right here coming with a crit rating, a mag size, an energy, and a crit damage, all of which are all legendary perks. The description says, assault weapon, submachine gun, military. A rapid firing weapon that has minimal recoil and fast aim recovery, but with less accuracy or range than most assault rifles. Now this weapon was actually obtained just normally through the normal blockbuster llamas way back in the day. You were actually able to obtain this weapon and you know, I actually for the longest time had it in my collection book, but I finally decided to take it out and of course just just to show you guys really quick, if I were to try to increase the rarity, it would change it into a silent specter, which is what I do not want to do. I want to keep it as a normal just specter. And as you guys can see, the stats on this weapon are actually really good. And I want to compare it to the real silent specter because the difference... Did I just unfavorite it? Okay. Let me favorite it again because the difference between this weapon and the actual Silent Spectre is kind of crazy. So I, I got them both at the highest level they can possibly be uh, with all legendary perks and the best possible perks. So if we were to compare the Spectre to the Silent Spectre, you guys can actually see that the damage values aren't too different if you were to look at them. 
you know, of course, you have around, you know, a little over 2,000 extra damage, and, you know, you also have a lot more extra headshot damage, the durability is kind of bad, and the impact's kind of bad, but at the, just the normal stats of these weapons, 48% crit chance, 48% crit chance, th uh, 435% crit damage, 435% crit damage, the same fire rate, the same mag size, the same range, and then you look at the perks, the perks really aren't that different either. You have crit rating, crit rating, mag size, mag size, element, element, crit damage, crit damage, and the only difference that the legendary one has is the damage to afflicted and the causes affliction for six seconds. Now, of course, these stats are being impacted by the hero loadout that I'm using, but I thought this was quite interesting because both of these weapons, whenever you look at them on paper, the Walmart Silent Spectre actually looks like a really decent weapon. And that's kind of what we're going to be figuring out in today's video. You know, you look over here, you see the crafting cost, 8 quartz to 13, 18 sleek to 30 efficient, 1 to 1, and then 5 shadow to 11 sunbeam. It's kind of interesting as well as the way that the crafting works. But both of these weapons are actually quite similar if you were to take a look at them. And of course, this is the Unsilent Spectre right here if we were to take a look at it and this of course up here is the silent specter so they have a slight different coloration to them the clip uh the bottom magazine of the normal specter is of course red and of course there is no silencer on the end of this and this little area uh right here this little barrel isn't as rounded either uh but yeah the, the weapons do look quite different from each other but they actually perform very similar because it's this kind of the same thing but let's go ahead and take a look at the commander that we are rocking the whole loadout so i'm trying to make this as strong as possible as strong as possible so of course we went with tactical uh, assault sledgehammer this guy of course you can get with the hero vouchers if you don't already have them he increases your assault rifle critical damage we went with keep out for your grenades mad tidings with crack shot he's going to give us an extra stack for every shot for damage you can get him with a hero voucher startup from bulletstorm jonesy i think you can research this guy because he's part of the neon set you should be able to research him in the collection book uh, he does the same thing for every shot you get a stack of damage for up to 25 stacks instead of 50 right here we have rescue trooper havoc rescue trooper ramirez is the other version of this character you can get her in the collection book just normally he will increase your assault rifle damage we have locked and reloaded from skull ranger ramirez which also comes from skull trooper after reloading you will get 15 percent extra damage for five seconds you can of course pick them up with a hero voucher and then we have first assault coming from first shot rio you can get her with a hero voucher and uh, after reloading your assault weapons the next two shots have 100 percent critical chance so that is what we went with as far as the hero loadout trying to make this weapon as strong as possible now what i want to do is i want to head into just a normal power level 100 mission and i want to do a individual smasher test and then i'm going to be showing you guys some pretty awesome gameplay of a group of three people me death grip and loomis all of us using this exact same weapon so we're going to jump into this mission right here find a smasher and see exactly how effective the walmart specter is against the level 100 smasher so i'll see you guys then Alrighty, boyo. So here we are in game with the Spectre. Now, of course, this is what the gun looks like. It is quite the magnificent specimen, and we are going to be taking down that elemental smasher down there and seeing exactly how fast we can kill him. Now, keep in mind, this weapon right here goes up to a maximum of power level 80, and uh, that is an elemental smasher, meaning we are going to be doing 75% of our total damage, but uh, we will be seeing exactly what we can do with this weapon, and I will be clearing out his friends as well to see how fast we can kill them. So we're going to go and hop down there and we are going to get a tasty smasher test with the Spectre and see exactly what we can do. So let's go ahead and see how this weapon will perform and let's use it on some power level 100 husks. So keep in mind, I am by myself. Uh, I am not in a group of people, so I might die easily or do less damage. And actually, I'm kind of getting a little hit, <laughs> getting hit kind of hard here. Uh, let's take out this taker. Ooh! Okay, okay, chill, chill, buddy. All right. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a test on you in a minute, okay? Just let, just let me kill your friends. Just needed to chill a little bit. <laughs> okay, Smasher, please. Smasher, please. Let me kill your blaster, buddy. There we go. Actually, some really decent damage. Some okay, he just hit me out of the hole. <laughs> some very decent damage coming from the Spectre. Very surprising too, because keep in mind, I am not in a full lobby. I am only by myself, which means that I'm not getting any sorts of damage buff whatsoever. This weapon still melts these enemies pretty well. Probably, arguably better than some legendary assault rifles if you were to think about it. So I'm going to send this guy up here. There we go. And we're going to try out this weapon on this smasher. So I'm going to shoot, reload for the damage bonus, and just pour into this guy. And as you guys can see, we still had five bullets left 
whenever it came uh, to actually killing that smasher. So if he was a physical smasher, we would have definitely had a lot left in terms of the magazine uh, whenever it came to killing that guy. Uh, or if we were using a nature specter, it would have been you know pretty easy to kill him. That is actually very surprising using a power level 80 weapon with all legendary perks and being able to one magazine a smasher uh, in a level 100 twine peaks. That is actually very interesting, especially with no teammates. So this weapon already off the bat is a little bit surprising, but I do have some gameplay that I wanna show you guys. That was a basic smasher test. It's gonna take you a little bit around a clip to kill a smasher at close range with the maximum uh, potential damage if you are solo. But I do have some interesting gameplay of myself, Death Grip, and Loomis all using this weapon, nothing but this weapon, in a power level 100 and seeing exactly what kind of work that we can do with it. And of course, we're all being buffed by each other's stats, so we'll do slightly a little bit more damage in that video. Not in that video, in that gameplay, which I'm about to show you guys. Uh, but yeah, I do want to show you guys that, so let's go ahead and make sure we clean up house really quick. That last little cowboy boy, so there we go. And uh, yeah, so that is it for this portion of the video. I do want to bring you guys over to some actual real good gameplay of this weapon in a, uh, you know, full lobby, well, kind of full lobby, just me, Death Grip, and Loomis, and see exactly how this weapon performs, and I'll give you guys my opinions on this Walmart Silent Spectre. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Alrighty, boys. so here we are at the gameplay portion of the video. You know, of course, just previously, you guys just saw a little bit of gameplay and me doing one smasher test, but here you actually have some real gameplay in a mission using these weapons. So, like I said, it is myself, Death Grip, and Loomis. We are all using the exact same version of the weapon. I crafted everybody the exact same specter, and we are using it in an actual mission, and we do go on to complete this mission with absolute ease. Of course, we're all being buffed by each other's stats, so we're doing slightly slightly more damage and all of that good jazz. So the Walmart brand Silent Spectre, the just normal Spectre with all legendary perks on it, no silencer, nothing like that. How does this weapon perform? This weapon's a monster. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it how it is. This weapon is a rare version and the way that Death Grip put it, it's a rare version of one of the best assault rifles in the game. Of course, this weapon is going to absolutely shred, and yes, it does. Uh, we do end up killing a few smashers in this gameplay, um, and there is one point at the end where we all just focus fire on a smasher, and we absolutely melt the guy. You know, being able to take a power level 80 weapon, you know, just a rare weapon, a blue weapon, and just being able to take it into, you know, one of the harder missions in Twine Peaks is actually quite funny to be able to do that and use it with ease. Of course, I probably could have upped the ante and I could have went with a power level 118. Uh, the four times mission that was going on at the time was really crappy. It had double death burst and your boy really wasn't going to deal with that. Uh, but yeah, so this is just power level 100s and we of course are being buffed by our stats and it's, it's just funny, man. It's really funny to see a just blue weapon like this perform so well in Twine Peaks. And honestly, it's kind of... It's kind of got me a little bit excited and not really for any particular reason other than I want to make more of these videos. I want to do more weapons like this. I'm, I haven't really researched into it very much, uh, but if we can have this weapon right here, and of course, like Death Grip said, it is a rare version of one of the best assault rifles in the game, so of course it's going to be good, but I'm just kind of curious exactly what I can do in terms of pushing the bounds of making these Walmart weapons, these great value weapons, just rare weapons with all legendary perks and seeing exactly how they can perform in Twine Peaks. It's just, I don't know, it's entertaining. This video was a lot of fun to record and to make and stuff, and it's been like six to seven months since I've done a video similar. I mean, we did the Breacher, and I was just curious how the Breacher was. Of course, if I could redo that video, I probably would, uh, because that's actually, the Breacher was actually a really good weapon. I, I very much um, underestimated it and kind of called it a little bit crappy, but you know, the Breacher, it's actually a pretty decent weapon, the Walmart Gravedigger. And this weapon right here is also just insanely good. You know, you have the crit, you have the crit damage, and of course you have the mag size. And although your base damage is a little bit lower, you know, your teammates can help you make up for it. This weapon still performs like an absolute laser. And if it were to be, you know, element specific or anything like that, it would just melt even more. So, you know, I had a lot of fun making this video, you know, all in all, this weapon, if I had to compare it to legendary weapons, you know, literally other legendary weapons with all legendary perks, I would still give this weapon probably a 7 to a 7.5. This is a rare weapon, power level 80, going against like power level 106 to 130s that are legendary with all legendary perks. Comparing it to that, 
I would give this weapon probably a 7 to a 7.5. I really like this weapon, the Walmart brand Silent Spectre, just the normal Spectre. It performs like a beauty in these missions, and if you have the teammates to buff your stats, you're almost not even going to notice that you're using a rare weapon. The only downside of this weapon, of course, is the durability. You're going to be going through half of the weapon's durability in one game. Um, but aside from that, you know, it's a lot of fun, and uh, I do encourage you guys, you know, if you guys are bored uh, and you guys want to experiment with stuff, or if you guys would like to see me experiment with stuff, let me know. Either do it yourself or let me know in the comments down below what weapons you guys would like me to do a Walmart brand uh, video on. But yeah it's it's been a very long time since i've done a video like this and i just figured hey why not do it for fun while we wait on the next update and uh you know see exactly what i can come up with and this is something that i've been wanting to do for a while we maxed it out on the twitch stream and yeah <laughs> so i hope you guys did enjoy this video it's a little bit more of a casual and just fun one and i do want to hear from you guys if you guys want to see more of this let me know but i do hope you enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching i greatly do appreciate it this weapon right here an easy 7 to 7.5 compared to even other weapons in the game and those are my final thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.